Yes guys, as part of this session, we are going to discuss hierarchical data structure. I mean, uh, one type of the hierarchical data structure that is binary search tree, which is the part of binary tree. In that, we are going to see creation of binary search tree. So here, we are going to concentrate much on critical things, which are complex to the programmer to develop. That is, we are going to concentrate mainly on the code that is how to do the analysis and based on that analysis how to write the code okay now we all know i mean uh, if there is any root node then the left child must and should contain the data which is less than the root node think that this is the uh, root node this one is the root node which is containing the data as double line and its left child must and should contain the data i mean it should contain the root node as i mean which is less than the root node and if it is so it should hold these nodes address in its left field right so being at this position i can come here okay how to develop those things we are going to see because if you guys are uh, feeling comfort in circular doubly linked list and doubly linked list i am sure these things are very easy for you guys everything will be on your fingertips for i mean uh, only one thing you have to know what the process so if i write the code definitely you will be in sync with me right okay and the right child node must and should contain the data which is greater than the root node if it is so it will contain the right child node reference in its right field okay this particular field contains left child reference okay left child reference and this particular field contains right child reference okay now so and uh, coming to the creation i'm going to take the same class which i have taken at the time of creating doubly linked list and circular doubly linked list and one extra field no extra fields only left and right will be in circular doubly linked list we are having both left and right fields the same way but thing is here in doubly linked list what we are doing i mean let me discuss about circular doubly linked list okay so if you understand the importance of circular doubly linked list definitely i am sure you guys are going to understand this hierarchical data structure and whatever the operation which we are going to discuss in this i mean uh, from this session onwards you will feel comfort that is i mean uh, for that sake i have explained those uh, linked list concepts in very deep way okay now let us see think that it is a doubly linked list okay here we are storing the data in linear fashion right and uh, here we are not having any rule like uh, left child must and should be the uh, less than of our uh, root node and right child must and should be greater than the uh, root node such type of properties are not there in circular doubly linked list and here we are going to contain the last node reference right and here we are going to contain the first node reference and this will contain the next node reference and this field will contain the previous field reference and this field next will will contain the next node reference and this will contain two here we are storing the data in linear fashion but whereas in this we are going to store the data in hierarchical that is in level by level fashion we are going to assign the i mean arrange the data in the memory that's why it is called as hierarchical data structure right these are so general things we are not going to concentrate much on general things okay but we are going to concentrate on analysis thing which is very important as part of developing rts that is real time system applications okay now the same fashion but what we are doing here is we are making one particular node as a root node such that there will be left node or think that if you are having more number of nodes as part of this particular i mean uh, left side then this entire thing will be called as left subtree that is if you are having more than one node means it is called as left subtree even though if it is containing one node we can call that one as a left subtree which is having only one node if you are having 10 nodes as part of this left subtree we can call that one as 
left subtree which is containing 10 nodes in the same fashion the right tree i mean right subtree also can be called okay as a right subtree now the same thing but we are going to store the left node reference in the left field that is left child reference as part of this one if there is a node which is containing the data greater than the root node that will be arranged at right side to the root node and its reference that is the right child reference will be stored in this root node right field that is what i want to make you guys understand right that is what that's enough no need to think much on this okay now let us go for the creation no need to waste the time okay so the same thing so if i create any instance like uh, test okay like test definitely there will be one i whose value will be like a default one like zero if you are not performing any initialization then jvm will perform initializations right now left it is of type test which is user defined data type so its default value will be as null right and coming to right it is also the type of test and it is user defined data type so default value will be as null think that it is referred with one t1 reference okay now because of some operations and because of execution of constructor i have initialized this value as 99 okay and at the time of creation what i'm going to do here is this is as part of java okay try to understand now i created one more node let it be like t2 okay t2 with reference as 1a and this reference as 10a and this is 1a and here also i is there and because of constructor execution we have created the data as 9 and left is null okay and right is null as part of this binary search tree if the particular data i mean a particular node data is less than root node then that should be as a left child for the root node try to understand this point it's very very important right that is what we want we i mean uh, in coming sessions we are going to see that uh, depth height all these things are general things you can find it very easily but we are going to concentrate on complex things okay here i am he, i mean i am here to make you guys simpler that is i am going to make the things very simpler to you guys how you can feel comfort in interior room to write your own analysis i mean analyzed code that is algorithms right that is what my duty here to make you guys right now this node let it be as t2 okay now this node data is less than the root node so it should be as the left child so it should be arranged here okay think that it is created in the memory now because of some operation it is going to get arranged as a left child for the root node which is already has been created as the first one so the first node which i have created that will act as the root node okay try to understand this point very clearly now i equal to 9 and left equal to null and right equal to null so here being at this node to reach the left child what should i do so as i said earlier in doubly linked list to just make a move to the next node what we are going in the next field what we are doing we are saving the next node reference right that is what earlier i have shown you in doubly linked list that is as part of circular doubly linked list and uh, doubly linked list that is an ordinary doubly linked list right now so what i am going to do here it's it's reference is one year right so it's a uh, data that i mean this node data is nine which is less than this root node right it is going to consider i want to write set of instructions such that jvm is going to understand oh ho this is the node which is with data nine which is less than the root node so i want to make this one as the left cell for this particular node how i can do that it's very simple you just make this reference in the left chain so it is having the reference so being at this node i can traverse to the left cell how i can go because i have the reference of this one honestly speaking in c it is reference right sorry address right now so in this fashion i can come so if i create any one more uh, node like uh, 108 let it be okay 108 which is having the reference as t3 and which is having ab okay now what i am going to do this node is containing the data as 108 which is greater than the root node so i have to make it as a right node for the root node 
currently which is the root node which is the current i mean which is the post created node that will be acting as the root node right now what is the root node here it is a node which is containing the data as double line right we are the programmers who always bother about the data okay even though we are indirectly using the references but we always bother about we always deal with the data only right now think that there is one concept in programmatic way i am going to do we are going to achieve those things right as part of that programming developing the code we see okay we are going to see slowly i am going to make you guys understand even that one also right now so this is the node which is containing the data which is greater than the root node so i have to arrange i have to write some set of instructions that, such that it should be as an understandable one to the jvm to make it one as the write node for the root node so it is very simple what we are going to do in write we are going to save this particular node reference so being at this node i can reach that node also that is how it is forming a hierarchical data structure okay these and are very simple but writing code for these things are very important very very important because if you go and see most of the applications real time system applications are using this hierarchical data structures only try to focus much on this right if you go for any dream mnc's they must, they just concentrate on these type of things okay if you are good in not i mean in these type of things that is you must have very good analysis thinking if you are good in analysis i am sure that you can learn any subject except biological things okay now let us go and write the code for this one so the data will get create in this fashion now let us think we have created one more node with reference as a t four which is having two a okay as a reference value i equal to like what it be like eighteen uh, and left value is null and what is right is also null now where that particular node should get inserted it's very important so. for this node which is, which will be the above node think that that above node i mean uh, that particular i mean uh, where it is going to get insert insert so the next immediate above node will act as a root node for this particular node how it is going to insert here let me check let me uh, i mean uh, let me explain how internally it should work it should should i mean in that particular we we have to write the code that is very important so this particular node data is 18 so first it will come and it will check here whether 18 is less than or greater than this particular node data it is less than so what it is going to come it is not going to traverse this right subtree here it is the right subtree which is containing only one node it will come to the left subtree which is containing only one node so it will come here and it will check what is this particular node data it is 9 that particular inserting node data is 18 right so that particular data is greater than this left subtree first node so where it should get insert as i said earlier you just forgot about these two nodes okay now as part of the rule if there is any node which we are getting insert i mean which we are trying to insert into the memory okay or which we are going to make a link to form well organized hierarchical data structure of binary search tree then where it should get inserted now you just think that it is the root node okay no now whatever the node which i have to insert whether it may be left to this node or right to this node it should get inserted in such a way that if the inserting node data is greater than this particular node it should come here if the inserting node data is less than this particular node it should get i mean it should get insert left to it so that it is going to act as the left child for this node okay if that node is going to come here i mean right of this node it will be acting as the right child for this node and as i said as a rule okay so if i insert this particular node as the right child for this node this node will act as the root node for this particular right node if i insert in case if i insert this one okay so now i am willing to insert that particular node which i have created with reference as t4 having the reference value as 2a so now that is going to come and insert here okay like i equal to 18 left value is 
null and write value as null which is having the reference as t4 with value 2a so it is a right child because why this particular node data is 18 which is greater than the root node right now as part of this session as part of this insertion as part of this instance this node is acting as the root node for this right child try to understand this phrase it's very important for you guys right now so this node right field will contain 2a so being at this node i can traverse to this node right try to understand one very 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 important point is if this node's left field value is null means it says the meaning or it gives the sense I, I am giving the hint for the JVM. JVM, there is no left child for this particular node. So don't go in this direction. Like that, I can intimate while writing the program. This null, that is the default values, will help me a lot to traverse the tree. That is what a very important trick at the time of developing code. And if this particular right field is not equal to null, means I will intimate to the JVM. JVM, there is a right child. Please go there and do some certain arithmetic computations right so i am going to intimate jvm in such a way if by using these left and right field values if it is null means it gives the meaning that it is as what nothing is there so no left subtree having at least one tree i mean so no left subtree with at least one node that is very important try to understand these things this may be like a complex thing but try to repeat it definitely you will get these points very easily now